Well, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching and welcome, my friends, to the last video of the Kong Head 6x6 build project. That means the project is almost completed and done. And I know some of you guys are going to be kind of sad about it, but you know what? With this getting this project done means I can move on to my next project that I've been uh, planning to do. So let's go ahead and talk about what I'm going to be doing here. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the electronics, the batteries, and my RC sound system, which is right here. Now I use this sound unit in all of my uh, RC vehicles, from my crawlers, my drifters, uh, my speed, you know, speed trucks, and uh, some other RCs as well. And it's just a really great um, RC sound system. Now this one has uh, ten different built-in engine sounds from gasoline diesel, um, you know, drift cars, you know, tuner cars and stuff like that. And it's just a really awesome system. Now, you can get this system on eBay for about around $30 to about $47. Now, this system came with two speakers. I cut it down to one just so you know, I can save space. Uh, so when I have my GoPro and stuff like that inside. Now, right here is the control module that allows me to... Uh, switch to different uh, engine sounds and turn up the volume. Now right here is the Y adapter which is just a plug and play system. It just plugs uh, one end of the wire plugs into the receiver and one plugs into the speaker so that's how it delivers the sound which I'll show you guys on that. Okay so let's go ahead and talk about the electronics. Now just to save some time I got ahead and installed the electronics for you guys so that way um, it won't be such a long, long video. Okay, so first off, the motor, which is a stock motor that came with the Kong head, which is a 540 series motor. Uh, it's got a 18 pinion gear on it, I think. 18, I think, 18. I'm not, yeah, 18. <laughs> I had to check there. Okay, now uh, the servo, which is right here, Everybody knows that blue color. That's a Traxxas 2075 high torque digital steering servo. I've been using these servos for many, many years. They do really, really good, a really great job, um, and they're they're super cheap as well. <laughs> now for the ESC, I'm not using any fancy type of ESC. I'm using uh, an ESC that I had from uh, a parts bag that I had. Uh, you sell RC. And it's just a brushed ESC with the Dean's connection on it. Uh, pretty basic, simple uh, ESC. It does the job. And then my receiver, which is from one of my new controllers that I'm getting to try out now, is the Skyfly FSGT2B. Really awesome controller. Three channel, um, lithium ion charger in it, or battery in it. <laughs> But uh, just you know, really cool looking uh, controller. So got the electronics in. Now I'm running a two cell, five thousand milliamp uh, Onyx battery. Now here's the crazy thing about this right here. Okay, so to me, I made the battery holder here, you know, for you know, for regular size batteries like this one. Now they did have a uh, cover part that's supposed to go over it like so if I can get it on there I'm doing it in one hand so it covers up the battery and it's supposed to lock it in place well since I'm running a hard shell lipo battery this is useless to me I can't use it because my battery pretty much sticks out a little bit see but it sits flush but I can't use the part to hold it down so I just attached some velcro to the bottom of it as you see velcro that way I'll keep it in there also did the same thing with electronics right there velcro as well uh, hopefully that'll hold up for it <laughs> but yeah uh, so that's what we've done now I do want to talk about this right here on the steering as you guys saw and I think part two or part one I think it was part two actually I actually cut a little bit of the uh, knuckle arms here down a little bit. And the reason why I did that is that this is one thing I noticed on a lot of Tamiya vehicles 
is that they have a lot of plastic kind of like standing out and that's going to you know cause um, problem when it comes to turning so I filed these down just a little bit to get a lot more maximum turn ability and it definitely helps out a lot on that on that issue uh, I did the same thing on the uh, to me a Unimog 425 on the CC01 chassis did the same thing on that and I did the same thing on the M1025 Hummer so let's hook up the sound system and uh, show you what it sounds like and in the sun I try it you know when you know I decided to go with so I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod so that way I can do this let's flip the screen around so I can see all right now let me adjust it a little bit I'm trying to do this all right so pretty basic simple like I said so we're uh sort of turn it around here so here's the sound system, all right? Well, I'm just gonna put it right here, right here in that Velcro, get it nice and snug. Now, all you gotta do is take the uh, your ESC part, here it is. Take this part right here, and it's just a little Y adapter. So all you do is plug this into that, make sure you meet the, the right color wires white on white red on red black on black so 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 do that then we take the other end put it into our throttle channel same thing match up your wires plug it in if I can get it in there guys <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and uh, turn on the remote you always want to do that first right so turn it on all right now let's turn on the RC. All right, ready? <laughs> it would help if I actually plug up the battery. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna cut that out, my friends. I'm just gonna leave it in there. All right, so there we go. Okay, now we can turn it on and hear the sound. All right. <coughs> So that's the sound I decided to go with it on the uh, on the truck. 
Now let's turn it back on and I'll show you the different sounds that uh, come with it. All right, so let's turn it back on. Is that more kind of like uh I don't really like that sound. It sounds weird. There's a one for your drifter. Sounds like an old 80s video game like Atari, if you guys remember Atari for the ones who don't know what Atari is. Uh, do your research. It's the Atari 2600, I think. Alright, got this monster truck V8 sound, open it up, <laughs> a little brake sound. to another one. No, the V8. That's it my friends that is the Kong head 6x6 the sound unit the electronics are in I'm very happy about getting this thing done I'm trying to find the right view selfie <laughs> no I'm just kidding guys all right so uh, yeah like I said it's been a fun build uh, very easy build it's probably like I said it's one of the easiest ones I've done for to me I've done the, the CC01 and I did the M1025 Hummer, which that was a restore project, but guys, it's just been a real fun project putting this thing together. I'm very proud of myself with this project uh, on the painting process of it, you know straightening it out, and I've been getting a lot of great comments from people from uh, not only the channel but on uh, on the Facebook page and everything. A lot of people have been impressed with the uh, you know how well the vehicle's running and the, the paint and how like actually kind of fix that little issue I had on the front bumper or front uh, corner of the driver's side. Uh, it's just been a great project and I, uh, I'm glad I bought the truck and uh, you know there's always room for improvement down the road putting you know, maybe some better shocks. Uh, definitely locking the differentials on this thing. That's the one of the things that I'll have to do on this thing is lock the differentials. Uh, I do notice that so if I'm going to use this type of vehicle for crawling or hitting the trails with I definitely need to lock the differentials so it'll be full-time six-wheel drive and not just part-time six-wheel drive but overall I'm very happy with the uh, with the truck and uh, and it just turned out really great and uh, you know I want to say thank you thank well thank all of you guys for taking the time to watch the videos on this build I really do appreciate it my friends I do uh, means a lot to me and uh, if you subscribe to my channel recently hey thank you for subscribing I really do appreciate that uh, if you liked any of my videos hey that's awesome always click that like button I would you know, really do appreciate clicking that like button commenting if you have any questions whatsoever on any type of my RC's or whatever or maybe something you want to see here on the channel. Hey, just comment down below. Let me know what you want to see here on the channel. You know, my thing is that I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to make a good channel. I'm trying, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, 100% like 
you know, very, very popular, like, you know, let's say from Medic with RC Adventures. He's got millions of subscribers, you know, and, you know, I think we all wish uh, that we were, you know, that big, you know, but uh, I'm not all about that, guys. For me, it's the hobby. It's what I love doing. Um, I love it a lot. It's just something that, you know, I got into a few years ago, and it just, it took hold of me, and it's fun, you know, you get outside, you play with these things, you build them, customize them, uh, that's what I love about it all, it's just, it's fun, it's enjoyment, and that's it, <laughs> that's all that matters, you know, you can't put a price tag on fun, well, I don't know, can you put a price tag on fun, as long as you're doing something that you enjoy, then that's all that matters, okay, so, and my RCs <laughs> is what I like doing, my friends. Yeah, lighting issue. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, it's time to end the project. As you see, it's built. Now I can do the official run video, which I'm hoping that will turn out well. We'll see on the process of filming if the weather will somewhat you know, cooperate. But, uh, all right. So, I catch y'all on here long enough. I'm following you. I know you're like, oh, stop moving the camera around. It's like, mm, my arm is not that good. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, thank you for watching. I know this is a long video, and I'm very, very sorry about that. Uh, but it's just a lot I had to say in the video about the truck and just about the channel in general. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. That way you get updates on uh, new videos, uh, what's going on. You also can visit my channel's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash rc84films. You can see pictures of uh, the builds, the vehicles, and stuff like that. Now, um, now I have another project coming up here soon in the month of April, which is going to be a special month for me because that marks my nine years of being in the RC uh, community or the RC world. Uh, so that's going to be a special month. So with that, I wanted to treat one of my oldest vehicles in my collection, uh, give it a little, uh, a little makeover, if you want to say. So yeah. All right, my friends. Well. Uh, I'm going to stop yap, yap, yapping because we're close, you know, getting on about 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I appreciate y'all watching. All right, so I will see you in the next upcoming video. All right. Thanks for watching, y'all. Later.